Okay, we're leaving for Kamegan now, Mike. So you guys went to Dumaguete without me, and now you're going to Kamegan without me? Well, Mike, we can't bring you with us. You'll just be a fifth wheel. Maybe sometime when you get a girlfriend, you can come with us, all right? Well, what about Jovi's sister, Joanne? Maybe she'll go with me. Can you call her, Jovi? Okay, Mike, we can try. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Hi, Mike. What's up? Well, Joanne, Jovi and uh, him are going to Comegan, and uh, I was wondering if uh, if you wanted to go there with me. <laughs> so is that a yes? I can hear you, Mike. John, John. Hi. Hello, can you hear me? John. Well, I think that's a no, Mike. What do you mean? Call her back. We have to go now, Mike. Well, Mike, try to enjoy yourself while we're gone. And remember, live every day as if it's your last, because one day, it will be. So today we're catching a uh, ferry boat here on the Super Shuttle Ferry out of Pagna in Bahal to Kamegan Island. It's supposed to be about a four hour trip. So we're going to uh, document that along the way here. We're at the ticket office right now. All right, so here's the ticket prices over there to Kamegan. We're gonna pay 766. I don't know, I'm an old man. I might get it for 547. That's when it leaves. Okay, so we parked uh, inside the uh, entrance to the port here, and I'm gonna find out how much it is per day to park here, and I'll let you know. Okay, so we're inside of the uh, we're inside of the uh, ticket office here, and we're gonna pay 200 a day uh, for the uh, parking of the old multi cab out there. The uh, security guards at the gate don't take your money. <clears throat> You have to come inside of the terminal here. And so we're waiting. Uh, it's like in a doctor's office here, waiting to pay for the parking. Okay, so we passed muster with the uh, paying the uh, parking fee. I suppose, uh, as everywhere else, it's a lot easier with a motorbike. I don't know what the scoop on that is. I need to keep this one. Okay. Well, whether you're going out of Table Iron City somewhere or over here in Hagda it's 200 a day to park a four-wheel vehicle okay just to give you the big picture here uh, the port of Hagda so we pulled in that's where the truck is right now and then you look down this way there's McDonald's down there you can't miss it showing McDonald's around here so that's where we're at right now Hey, we're on our way boarding the ferry boat from Hagna Bahal to Kamegan Island here. Okay, there it is. I'm told, I'm told by the tour guide there's never a problem getting tickets here. So if you're not able to get them online somehow, you just come here to get your ticket. There it is. The Super Shuttle Ferry. Okay, we're getting right on here with the rest of the cargo. Here's the ramp, some rope. You got the tickets, honey? Yeah, I have. Hurry up. 
Side of the cabin here, the ferry. And there's a bunch of bunk beds here. So we grab the bottom two on this thing here. I put here. Back. Here, put that there. You're gonna hog the top and the bottom. You're a bunk bed hog. Are we paying for this? Yeah. You said something about a hundred. Is it a hundred or is it not a hundred? I don't know. All right. Can we go outside and look? All right, well, it looks like this entire ferry boat is a bunch of bunk beds. I wouldn't mind catching up on some sleep. I hope they turn up an air conditioner. Okay, so here's Hagna. Honey, if we go down one level, there's some chairs out there, some deck chairs. We can rearrange. Okay, we can go this way. Okay, honey, do you want to sit out here for four hours? No, I don't want She can't stand being in the sun. Preparation for our departure here. Okay, we're tossing the lines. Now I'm waiting for these pulleys to pull this ramp up. Speak of the devil, there they go. Okay, 
saying goodbye to the port of Hagna, Bahal. photographer here. I met this young lady one year ago today. So. <laughs> okay, it's 717 here at night. Uh, we've just got off of the ferry boat at Camegan and uh, we were asked to put our bags in a uh, line over here. I guess we're gonna get sniffed out by a dog or something. Here's the dog. Hi, I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. Rut roll. Rut roll. <laughs> oh, bad. Okay, well, we had quite a fiasco there at the. Uh, Getting out of the port, you have to have a QR code that I didn't know yeah. about. Lenzones Resort is here. Lenzon, okay. Well, now we're going to a trike that's not uh, it's not working too well. <laughs> the budget trike here, it's not working that well. The trike's going to have to get us another trike, I guess. Yeah. That is a Camigan Lenzones Resort is going there. Lenzones Resort. And we should have stayed there. We could have walked. We could have walked there. All right, well. Uh, we're hoping that the trip isn't too far here. It's 300 pesos. Uh, got a little bit of an exhaust problem back here. Well, we found we found the problem. We're running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> we can solve that problem easily enough. <laughs> All right, we got about I don't know 10 pesos worth of gas there. Uh, hope we make it the rest of the way. Seems to have solved the problem. Uh. While the uh, 10 pesos in gas didn't seem to solve the problem very well. Oh, at least there's a party over there. Hey. Yeah, we have a party now. Party. Okay, it's our first morning here in Camegan at the Kerma Eco Beach Lodge. And they say that we'll have fun when it stops raining. We're planning to go to the Sandbar Island that is just off the coast here, somewhere out there. Uh, it'd be nice to have some sun for that. And we're planning to go to Hot Springs and Waterfall. <laughs> We're gonna go. We're not gonna go anywhere at all. <laughs> yeah, it's rain. It's rain. Yeah. Okay, we've made our first stop here at a little uh, ocean overlook here. We're taking a 2,500 peso, uh, I don't know, around the island tour type of thing here. We're gonna make a couple stops at uh, some various tourist spots here. We'll show you. Now, I had this camera that she's got. Canon camera. I had it for a couple years and uh, I took it to a pawn shop and they were only going to give me $150 for it. And she just, I don't know, she took to it like it. she just owns it now. This is what you're looking for. <laughs> she owns my camera now. But it's been raining all morning, but uh, it finally let up here. So we're going we're gonna to take our little tour see what we got on this island here okay so what we uh, rode in last night is called a uh, motorella from the port to the hotel and uh, as you saw those things don't really work very well uh, I'm sure that most of them run better than the one from 
last night, but they still don't really uh, make it up the hills around here very well. So we were told that uh, we needed to get a, uh, a multi-cab here or rent a motorbike now. I'm a little averse to that in the first place, let alone in the rain. So we opted for this uh, 2,500 peso kind of an island tour thing today. And then tomorrow, hopefully it'll be a nice day and we can go out to the sandbar, which is very close to the hotel. Okay, we're gonna get some exercise here, going up to the old volcano. Looks like this may also be the stairway to heaven. Okay, it looks like a volcano might have hit here. Oh, it was just a tree growing up. Okay, so we passed station number two, and there's 15 stations here. Station number three is ahead there on the left. And we're gonna poop out before we get to the actual, whatever the old volcano is, unfortunately. Who's slowing down already? She wore her clod hoppers because her dress is too long if she doesn't have big shoes on. Okay, there's station three. Looks a lot like station two. I told her we would turn back after the next station. Well, well, what do we have here? This, this is station four. four. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go to the top of this bend here and I'll be right back. Hmm. Actually goes downhill here. Interesting. But that's all that the tour guide can take. So we're gonna go back down. Okay, we're at the sunken cemetery now. Okay, we have arrived at Soda Water Pool. This is like a some sort of a cold spring, as far as what I read soda, about it. Soda, it's a drink. Yeah, it was, it was soda water at one time, and then it changed that it's not soda water. Something like that, so let's see what this is all about. Okay, we're at the old soda pool here, and this is, uh, this is looking like barrels of fun here in the rain, but I am still gonna go swimming, since uh, it's costing me uh, uh, 250 pesos. We gotta get some little shelter for her to sit in because she's not going to go swimming with me. Yeah, I just took a dip in the soda spring. The water is going flat. Ask me if I'm having fun yet, sweetheart. So we've reached the next stop on our whirlwind Kamegan tour here in the rain. Tubasan Falls. Somebody looks like she wants a picture taken. Okay, 
Okay, we're at the Thundering Waterfall. I'm sure we're getting good volume today considering the rain. Okay, honey, get, get in there, get under that waterfall. You want your 75 pesos worth? <laughs> I'm amazed. It's the first time I see that water like that. Yeah, it's making a pretty cool sound. Let's go over there. Look at the size of that boulder. Whoa, what's this? Nice. Joby pointed out that this may be a landslide, landslide <laughs> prone area up in there. Deja vu all over, another 75 ahead. Cottage 150. Okay, the fun with no sun day is continuing here at some Cold Springs Park. Santo Nino, Cold Springs. I'm not sure if I still have the ambition to go swimming in this. Somewhere along the line here, we're going to go to a hot spring, which would be much more appropriate for the day. We ordered some lunch. Okay, we uh, made it to the hot springs. We climbed quite a ways up the side of the volcano here. Let's see what this is gonna run. All right, away we go. Yeah. She got a new bag at the uh, cold springs that we just came from. Okay, well, it actually has uh, stopped raining here for the last half hour. But it will be nice to warm up. I hope these truly are warmer hot springs. <clears throat> okay, I'm jumping in. Okay, here's where I would have thought that the actual hot part of the spring is here but it's just a creek that flows over a dam and uh just goes into this pool here and the water is not really truly hot at any part of it at least at the moment but it's a pretty place Okay, folks, that was the ardent Hibok Hibok Spring Resort in Tagdo Babahao Kamigan. All right, let's uh, let's see where we're at here. You are, oh, there it is, Ardent Kibo Kibo Hot Springs. Yes, we're going to go there tomorrow. That's where our hotel is, by the White Island there. There you go. 
Okay, so the Lukewarm Springs was the last stop of the Grand Camigan Island tour today. The rain has, uh, has stopped for the afternoon. Let's uh, take a look at the view from the back of the hotel here over the ocean. Okay, so here we have a kind of a rough looking beach next to the hotel. But we can finally see Bahal out there. Maybe this is the white sun or the sunburn or the Sam, yeah. This is a sandbar. What do they call it? White Island? I don't know why we can go there above. Oh yeah. Well we're told that it's walking distance to the uh, boat that takes you out to the little sandbar island out Where's there, the which boat? we're going to do tomorrow, weather permitting. Okay, so here's the Kerma Resort, and they have a uh, free diving academy here attached to it on the left. Okay, it's our last day to do anything here on Camigan Island. It turns out to be a much better day than yesterday. No rain in sight. So we're going down to the uh, boat dock, which is a walking distance from our hotel. Uh, to go to uh, White Island, which is a little sandbar just off the coast here. It's like uh, everyone that comes here has to go on this little trip, so we'll see what it's all about. Okay, where's the boat at? I'm gonna guess you go over there. Yeah, there it is out there. High tide right now. Okay, to the pump boat. Okay, well, we, we found a pump out here in short order. It's 550 for four people. We found uh, a couple new friends here with us, and uh, 550 plus 50 pesos each per head to get out there and back.
think, honey? This is nice. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Wow, I bet you at low tide that's connected out there. Sweet. She wasn't going to bring the umbrella. She <laughs> said, yeah, you bring the umbrella. So I walked uh, towards where that last person is there. And then uh, along that uh, strip that goes out that way. And then that island out there, I had that all to myself. And then uh, from the tip of that, I swam back all the way to here. Where we're at. It gets to about uh, 10 feet deep out there. Uh, there's uh, nothing bigger than a one inch, two inch fish that I saw out there. But the best part of it is that it's uh, absolutely crystal clear water and there's some really nice coral there. Okay, so it's uh, 11.30 and uh, we've been out here on this uh, white island for about an hour and a half. Uh, we got here about 10. So I'm, uh, I'm told that uh, there's the most people out here first thing in the morning and that uh, it quiets down a little bit later in the day. So I'm gonna show you how many people are out here right now. And so uh, most of the people have already left here. And uh, so I was advised by some people yesterday to come out here uh, a little bit later in the day. And I think that that's uh, good advice. It really doesn't matter uh, what the tide is doing. Of course, you're going to have uh, more beach out here at low tide. Uh, but anyways, it's, it's only 1130. And uh, I would say 75% of the people that were here uh, at 10 o'clock, they're, they're all gone now. So this is, uh, this is really nice. So you can uh, rent an umbrella when you get out here. That's uh, it's gonna cost you 200 pesos for that. my last, so 
If I'm gonna die, I wanna be drunk. But Mike, if you drink like that every day, you'll be dead in no time. Well, I'll drink to that.